Okay, everybody, welcome back. Um, let's talk blades because that's what we're into. So today I have for you guys another unboxing. This just came today. Um, I I was expecting it to come later, but I guess uh, my luck turned out to be okay for the day. So right now, um, it's just a little weird. I, like I said, I was expecting this to come a little later. It's a uh, it's from an it's a, obviously an Amazon order, and judging by the um, the video, I'm sure you guys already know what this thing is. So it's another knife. So let's go ahead and check it out, so I can share the excitement with all of you. Cause you know, why not? Get that out of there. <laughs> All of that. For that. Why not, right? Alright, well, let's get that out of frame. So, as, as most of you can tell, it's another fox knife. Karambit. Dart. G10 Black Emerson Wave. Now, I'm sure that you guys are probably wondering... What's the difference between what I already have and this? Um, well, I can tell you that uh, a while back, I've been wanting to get this guy years ago, actually. Probably about like a good five... Yeah, probably about a good five years ago I wanted to get this thing. I think it came out five years ago. Uh, it, this is an older model, but um, it's one that I've kind of had my eye on. Oh, that's cool. And that's also very new. They give you a pocket clip and some screws and a Torx, a little Torx bit there. So yeah, that's kind of a neat thing. And of course, you get your warranty information. Mm, doesn't look like there's anything else. So. There you go, Maniago, Italy, if I pronounce that right. Manago, Maniago. Maniago, yep, Maniago, Italy. Oh, cool. And of course, the item that we're having right now is, of course, the fox dart. Um, a little bit of a backstory on this knife. It's very similar to the very well-known Fox Karambit and it has the same exact handle the only difference is you have a Tonto blade instead of a hook so I guess that's really cool and of course it says by my Markaida and this is a Doug Markaida design now if you're not familiar with who Doug Markaida is if you've ever seen uh, Forged in Fire, he is the Asian dude who specializes in um, weapons, manu uh, weapons and um, martial arts. And uh, he's one of the guys on the show that is also a judge for the uh, for the blades and how they work and all that. So he goes up there and he does his cool little bit shows off for the show. He's actually um, one of the one of the guys that I follow on YouTube because uh, that's where I get most of my training when it, when it comes to uh, karambits. Uh, also, another co-worker at work also kind of teaches me a little bit here and there from what he knows. But uh, this is actually kind of cool. So this is... Um, this doesn't really take too much training to know how to use this because it doesn't have a hook on it, so you don't have to do too much out of the norm. With this, uh, simple motor skills, when you have it in the hand and you're using it as a, uh, a deterrent, whether you're forward slashing or if you're jabbing with it, you can use it for that. So this one's a little bit more civilian friendly than the, the Karambit. Um, but of course, you know, there's also some training with this if you really want to get in depth of how to actually use it. But this is a little bit more friendlier as far as, you know, just regular motor skills in a stressful situation. 
Um, the only thing that's probably advised to learn about this particular blade is knowing how to draw it out of the pocket. Now, when I purchased this knife, this was a hundred and I think it was a hundred and thirty or hundred and forty bucks on Amazon. Uh, not bad, considering that when I first saw the price tag on this was really expensive. It was like around about hundred sixty, hundred eighty. And um, to be honest with you, the quality and the craftsmanship of of this knife coming from the Fox, how they how they do things, I think that this knife wouldn't be worth any more than at least eighty bucks. Uh, and that's still being really generous with the price tag. Um, but I mean, yeah, this is what you get. This is the new Fox. Well, to me, it's new, <laughs> the new Fox Dart. Um, I think it's really, really uh, different from the other Fox lineup, but we'll go ahead and get into the specs for you guys. So I'm just going to move out all this extra stuff that you get in the package. Let's go ahead and pull out the scale so that way you guys know how much it weighs. And yeah, I mean, it's not really um, intimidating when you pull this out of your pocket and you have it in a grip. I don't think, you know, this little guy isn't really going to scare anybody, but if you know how to use it, and you know how to use it well, then I guess, you know, looks can be deceiving. So, of course, that's if you want to get into, like, the training bit of that, and if you really want to try and use this knife properly instead of just using regular um, common sense <laughs> for weapons, then, sure, it could be effective. Ah, I kind of knew it. I would be right under four ounces. It felt like it. So 3.89 ounces. That's, um, that's not bad. Um, now as far as everything else, this is completely blacked out, by the way. So the only part that you can see that's not blacked out is the very edge of this knife. Which I think is pretty sweet. I mean, when you, when you look at it, it it's, it's pretty fierce in and of itself. So, um, take out the calipers for you guys so that way you guys know how wide it is. Just checking the lock up there, it was a little, a little weird. Um, now a lot of people say that, um, when they get fox knives that they're kind of loose. I've owned, this would be my third or fourth fox that I've ever owned, and I can tell you I've never had any blade problems. Okay, so 13.3 on the handle. And a 2.8 on the blade. Not bad. Considering its size. Not bad. I mean, this is a good little self-defense knife if need be. I love the way it feels in the hand. It does feel very... Um, to me, it feels very... It just feels like an ice pick. <laughs> like I could just sit here and just jab at ice with it. Because it's just, it's small. It's not really intimidating. If you guys are wondering what I'm carrying right now, um, is this guy right here. I don't know why, but this one's really lightweight. I've always had a thing about Enduras, and this one is just, this one takes the cake. Because like I said, it has that Emerson Wave, you just pop it out. And this one has that Emerson Wave too. So I don't know how effective this is. I've never actually tried waving it out of my pocket, but I'm going to try it out. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could hold it like so and use it as a regular knife sure why not you could but its intentional purpose would be self-defense you know especially when it has the Markita Markita name on there that means self-defense <laughs> at least in my opinion anyways anything Doug Markita is self-defense so now you're probably wondering if there's liners yes there's liners I don't know if you guys already if you guys can see that it's all just black Ooh, I just put my thumb on the blade right there that's actually pretty sharp you can see the liners right there I don't even have to turn on the light but you got one here and you got one there and uh, they are contoured to the handle so you do have steel liners in there and yeah you still got the uh, metal ring there and the overall length of it let's go ahead and bust out the uh, tape measure so yeah uh, two and a quarter blade length 
barely, I want to say, less than three inches on there. So two and a half cutting, a little bit more than two and a half for your cutting edge. Is that bad? No, I don't think it really is. And then, of course, you got about, about four and a half inches. Yeah, about four and a half inches of handle. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a little itty-bitty blade, but I think it's good for the collection. Let's go ahead and get into cutting. So I found some of this weird string. I think I can cut this. You can barely see it, but this came from an old necklace. Um, I was tired of seeing this thing on an, on something uh, more valuable than what the string is. So I just decided to cut the string off and uh, repurpose it for this video. Because why the heck not? So here it is, cutting some black string. And yeah, no resistance whatsoever. Just cut right through it as if there was nothing there to begin with. Um, so here's this string that's braided. That's that braided portion. So let's see how well that cuts on the braided portion, yeah? There it is. And I'm going to... Oh! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that had no... There was nothing to that. It just cut right through it. All right. Oh, sorry. One moment, guys. Something fell. I had to pick it up. All right. So, there's that. Now, how about some leather? Cut some leather. Bang. There we go. Oof. God, man, this thing is really sharp. Huh. Oh. Uh, Hmm. Okay, let's try that one more time. I didn't like how the way that went. Okay, there was a little bit of a resistance there, but it did cut, as you guys can tell. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a pretty decent edge on there, I'd say. And for the heck of it, why not some paper? Because everybody likes it when we cut paper. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. The tip on there is pretty good. It catches well. Oh, sorry, guys. So far, so good. This thing is decently sharp. I mean, it did all of this, so... Ah, I have my fan going. But yeah, so that is the Fox Dart. Um, like I said, if you guys are looking for it... I suggest uh, these are running low so I suggest if you guys are thinking about picking one up go ahead and check it out you're you're gonna be looking at spending a little bit over a hundred bucks for this thing so probably about a 130 ish either way so yeah it's the Fox Dart I will see you guys in the next one later